Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make the 5x7 flip card. This is part of my new collection. So you just pull the side and it will reveal two other panels on the back. So this is a birthday card, really fun to make. And this has got the camera roll, it's got the balloons, the shutter, lots going on, lots of colour in that one. A couple of other ways you can use this as well, which I'll show again in the video, but you've got a single version, so you can just cut it in half and make something like this and you can also have it opening from the top so just change the orientation of the images there to give you that effect and just some others here different colors you've got the new home one which i really like along with a graduation one here as well and i've got some others that i'll show you in the tutorial so let's get started so this is the five by seven die set so i've already cut everything we'll talk through that in a bit more detail then i've used the kind of photo film here and this shutter and I've already again die cut all that and that's how those two look there and then I've used something from every stamp set which I didn't realise but I've taken the camera stamp and then the balloons and all of the celebratory kind of themed stamps on that one I've used the dog and then the girl with the dog stamp there and then the sentiments so as always, everything will be linked below. First of all, you want to cut all of the pieces to make the flip card. So if I just take these two here. So depending on how you want to do it, you can do a single one. And that will give you this effect here. So that's just the single one. And I've done that kind of little congratulations on your graduation. And they're like moving abroad. And that was using the papers as well with that one. So I topped off the frame with one of the um, designs there. But we're gonna do the double one because it's easy to just cut it in half if you want. Now I like to layer up the frames. So you've got your main frame die here. So I'm gonna stick those two together. And then I've die cut two of the flip panel. Okay, when they die cut, they die cut all of these bits here and you'll have a, a line where the fold is. You can just fold it, but I like to just grab, like I do with most of them when they cut, it's always worthwhile just going over it with your score tool and then folding it. And that way you just definitely ensure you're not going to get any cracking. So two of those, the weight of the card stocks varied across all of them. I've used 300 GSM and then I think this is, this is quite light. So I think this is around 200, but we're going to be sticking you know, things on the front and the back, and I'm gonna use the Kalau glue. So that will, you know, just kind of really strengthen everything. So two of the frames, two of the flip pieces, sorry, two of the frames, and then you'll want your card blank. So this is my five by seven card blank. If you don't have your card blanks, then you can cut this from a piece of 10 by seven, and along the 10 inch side, just score at five. But as I've mentioned on the launch, you can use these on anything. So you could put it on a scrapbook layout, you could just stick that, on the you know a page on a mini album there's so many ways you can do this i think they make great invitations actually you know you are invited and then all the information inside there so i'm going to stick these two together this is the clear all-purpose kalau construction glue beacon three and one is very good there's also a lot of other companies that have construction glues i've yet to try those but i'm sure they will work pretty much the same way it's solvent based but there's no water in this. That's why it's great for paper crafts because you don't get anything warping, you know, no warping in your card. So I'm just going to lay that over the top and just give that a minute to dry. Now, if you're cutting this in mirrored card, there is the word pull here. So it will emboss that and you'll see it more on the mirrored card. If you don't, then you could just stamp the word pull. You could pop an arrow there or just leave it. I haven't done it on a lot of the samples and everybody knows what to do with it because you kind of, as soon as you lift it, it starts to move. So it was just kind of there. Like I said, it's more for if you've got mirrored card, but if you've got any of my past collections with the pull, then use that. Now it's up to you which way you want this to pull, whether you pull it from the left or the right. So with these pieces here, if you want it to pull to the left, then you want this fold to be on the left-hand side. So you want them in this orientation. If you want it to pull to the right, then you would just turn them so they're that way. OK, obviously, if it's directional paper, you need to decide that before you die cut it. I'm going to have mine. No, we'll pull this one out to. Yeah, we'll pull this out to the right. So I'm going to grab the quick grab glue for this part. Do so one at a time. Get rid of that for the minute. So I'm just going to add my glue just on the tops here. 
and then you want to make sure that you've got a gap between this and the yellow and you'll see it will fit perfectly from top to bottom within that part but you want there to be the gap obviously you can see that they line up there but you need the gap here so that it will flip out give that a minute to grab whilst that one's doing its thing get this one here add the glue on those two and then do the same if you want to do one half you just cut this in half there and then this one again just going to sit and make sure i've got myself a nice little gap it's about one mil gap there now if i flip this over you can already see they literally just sit either end there but you want to make sure that this has got that room to move through those sections there okay so now you can take the card make sure it's the right way up if you want to put pattern paper on here you can and then you're going to add your glue now down this one here and then this one here and then i'm going to now i'm focusing on the red frame and just checking i've got a nice white border on the card and just push that down like so so now when i lift this up i'm going to pull to the right and you can see there how that works just go in and just burnish that way as well and you've got a really nice motion now if you wanted to you could also have it lift this way which is this style here so you can see how it looks so you pull that from the top so you have that effect and it's just the side fold i'm going to keep this as a top fold now i haven't used this frame which comes in the die set with this one here because i've got tons of samples with that so you can see here how it looks and this is with it opening to the left but that's that frame okay this one here i've just cut these myself so i'll give you the measurements in case you want to just sometimes just cut some plain ones so it's two and a quarter by three and a half so i've cut myself four of those so i've stamped and colored these four here the idea for this card is that it could be from your pet to you or it could be from you to your pet so it, you know you can look at it either way this, the sentiment here have a snappy birthday is obviously the reference to photos but i also thought with the dog snapping that kind of thing so yeah i just was having a bit of fun with this one i've done it really colorful so i think i'm going to have the wishing you a snappy birthday on the front with the do i want the balloons or do i have this one here I think I have that one because I think I've got the balloons on the front. Oh, yeah, I've got it on the front of that one there. So I'm just trying to make all different kind of them all different in like some way. But I think we have this is the um, the shutter. So we pop that somewhere and I've got all there's the camera roll there as well. So I'm going to stick these two here first. And then when I lift this one and turn it over, I'll have the smile and the balloons here and then i'm going to have it's your day i'm taking this from one of my this was the creative cuts stamp set so i'll use that one in a moment so that's everything done there now if you want you could call the card done it stands up nicely it's going to fit perfectly in your envelope but i want to start decorating it with all of these pieces here so with the shutter it will cut the ring so i've used the, the holographic card there so you get to see all that detail and then i cut it again in black and i've just coloured it with some of my sparkle pen so I thought that was quite good and then what you can do on the back just to if you were sticking it right directly onto a surface where it was all being covered then I would just stick them like that but because it's going to probably overhang a little bit what you can do is punch a circle or a shape that's just slightly bigger than what's cut away there and I've just popped some glue on there and just put that on the back and that way that's held in place and you can now use it you know and have it overhanging and stuff and it's going to look neat so i've got the balloons here which i thought would be quite nice to have because you can you can have things hanging over the edge you just got to make sure that they're not going to catch any of this so you can place them on here you could have that even just slightly underneath there because that's going to be okay and you can have them you know down the middle here but you would want them to overhang slightly to the left because it's pulling to the right if you're pulling it to the left then they could overhang slightly more to the right play around with this it will all make sense once you start using yours but you couldn't have anything on 
that side for example because when that that needs to lift so if anything was overhanging there it would catch but you could again pop it just slightly underneath but the idea is is that when you lift it you know these pieces can still be enjoyed you know no matter which way it is when it opens so i think i'm going to have the camera roll kind of liked it like there but again it can't be too that could just work yeah see that's going to work so it's, it's just about playing around with the placement i might have the actual camera lens there with the camera that could be quite good because it says smile so it's like you're smiling for the camera yeah i think that's going to look good and then we can have I don't have to put all these on there but i'm just trying to give you as many ideas but you get the idea anyway so i'm just going to get this all stuck down and stamp that sentiment and then i'll show you it finished That's the finished card. Really pleased that I've added some enamel little dots there. I've added some sparkle to the balloons. That's the sparkle pen, Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle Pen. And then the sentiment, it's your day. I think it's turned out really nice. So that's the five by seven as a top fold flip card. You can then do the single, which I showed earlier, which is this one here, which I really like. Oh, that way, hold it right. I think it's really fun. And that's like a, you know, congratulations, you've graduated and they're going abroad now. And the grandparents are wishing them farewell. We've got a graduation one here. Focus on the good things. I think that's it. I like that one a lot, actually. I like the little cap there as well. There's this new home one. Love the colourway in this one. You can see the camera roll. I've used the glitter card. And there's a camera again. Use the accent glaze over everything. These are the frames, so like I shared before with the polka dot. And then you've got other images there from the stamp sets. I like the way they're popping up on the side there as well, enjoying their new home. And then this one, I think I'm going to decorate a little bit more on the frame. They've got happy memories. It's like a travel one. This one's the top, top fold. That's good as well. Great, like I said, in mini albums. I think they're going to look fantastic. And then there's this one here, which I shared earlier with my mum, which is another fun one. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial showing you how to put together the 5x7. I think it's really fun whether you have it from the left or the right or, you know, opening from the top. There's lots of ways to use this and like I said, cutting it in half as well, I think gives it a completely different look. Check out the links as always in the description box below and I'll be back with more tutorials using this and I'm going to be mixing it up with my past collections and making mini albums and things like that with it. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.